We're gonna get it right back to where we started from. <laughs> Literally. I'm Philip with the and welcome back to Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels with the Roses. Last time we killed Richard the Third. Even though we can still duel him on the map for whatever reason. And in this part, we're going to Stonehenge to fight with Seto. Kill me now, please. You're here much sooner than I expected. I knew that Crawford would turn on us one day. But I didn't expect the tide of battle to turn so soon. Actually, Crawford's betrayal in the fall of the Orcus mattered not to me. Wow, what a dick. All I hoped for from this tiresome struggle was to find an opponent worthy of my attention. When I knew you'd been summoned, I chose to wait. Each time a member of my Rose Crusaders fell before you, I shivered in anticipation. Once you'd be the last member, I knew you were ready to face me. No longer have I start or the best duelist equal in power to me. Hunger to best such an opponent in battle. You wish to have my rose card? Then take it from me! Face me in battle, duelist! I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die! Because this is Seto fucking Kaiba we're fighting here. And thankfully, he does have his own battle theme. Unlike Richard III, for whatever reason. So this is Stonehenge. I'm gonna spoil this now. You fight here on three different occasions. And the battlefield is slightly different each time. The outside is always going to be like it is now. There's gonna be meadow spaces and forests in the, in the four corners. Here in the middle is where it changes between the three different fights here in Stonehenge. Right now, this all the spots in inside the labyrinth here are normal. And the terrain is just suited for it would be perfect to place your own terrain card if you have one. Oh goody, mirror wall. I actually need that. I don't know how much of a use that's going to be though. Because, well, if this isn't already an intimidating factor right off the bat. This deck master is the blue eyes white dragon. What a shock. Leader abilities, it has increased movement, so it can move up to two spaces per turn. Just right off the bat, that's annoying trying to get indirect hits on him, unless you have some corner. And he has level cost reduction for summoning the same type. So his blue eyes white dragons only cost seven stars to summon it as opposed to eight. And he has a couple mostly dragons. His deck for the most part will reflect his deck in the first season of the anime. If you're worried about running into Obelisk the Tormentor, don't. The god cards do not exist in this game at all. Other than that, he he's gonna fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> There's no sugar code to get rid Really, he has one of the best decks in the game. And this is not a very good start. Aw, oh, fuck. Did he just summon... He just summoned Rabbit Horseman, didn't he? Well... Thankfully for me, I do have a... I do have a mirror wall. But that's the issue. He has a perfect counter to mirror wall. It's called Royal Decree. As long as it's... As long as it's on the field, trap cards don't activate. It's automatically triggered whenever a permanent... Or, I believe, any trap card activates, Royal Decree will activate. The card isn't destroyed, but its effects don't happen. Unless it, well, if it's a permanent card, it doesn't get destroyed. Summon La Jin. He has this card in his deck as well, so maybe, maybe if I'm lucky, I can get it from him. Oh god, this isn't good. Wall. 
Yay! Oh, Kaiser Dragon, wow. I think Kaiser Dragon is one of the most powerful... Yeah, Kaiser Dragon's the most powerful card in the Twin-Headed Behemoth deck. I think it's like, what, 2320? At base? So I barely just killed it thanks to Mirror Wall. Phenomenal cosmic power! Itty bitty bitty space. I, I, I haven't watched Aladdin since the last time I watched Aladdin, which was the day after Robin Williams died. It's a sad day for every human being. That is just so fucking cool. Alright, now that that's done. I now have to protect Mirror Wall with my life. I don't have any cards. Um, this card powers itself up, but it's, I doubt it'll still be enough. So, by the way, he also has a terrain card called Mountain, and he will use it, unlike pretty much every other duelist we fought up to this point. Goblin Secret Remedy. Aw, oh, Magic Jammer! Well, at least it wasn't Royal Decree. Although I now see that coming in my four Secret Future as well. I know exactly what that card is, I'm pretty sure it's Rabbit Horseman. Oh good. You can't have two of those magic jammers, so... Let's create darkness! Perfect. It fits perfectly. And before he summons uh, Aji, yes, Aji the Dark Clown. Did I remember right? He does have that card in his deck. Lord of D. Hell does that do again? Fuck! I remember exactly what it does now. <laughs> it prevents the effects of trap cards on dragons as long as it's face up in defense mode. Oh my god! <coughs> that was nice. Very rude. Fuck me. Oh wait, that's only six. What? Why is it only six? Is it going down like two? What? Fuck. Alright, Murdoch, you're going to destroy the shit out of this card. I'm immune to opponent spell cards. Oh, but that applies to all dragons. And the Therapy Trap cards as well. Because Mirror Wall is definitely not a spell card. I believe they. All right, Murdoch. Now you got. Uh, yeah, let's play the good medicine. 
because I need to. I need to destroy Lord of D. I should probably be in defense mode. You're going to die. I need to keep Mirror Wall, though. Okay. He's not gonna do what I think he's going to do, right? That would be stupid. Okay, good. Although, I'm pretty convinced this is a trap card now. Let's find out what it is, shall we? No, it's not. It's a monster. Wow. Ah, I can't pronounce that, but I know it's good. Mika no Viva. If I pronounce that right, I'm just gonna kill myself. Um, let's get rid of you. Ah, oh, negate attack. Well, on the plus side, I don't think there's much of a plus side here. Um. And I wish I had Soul Hunter right now. Um, we can't have two of those cards, surely, so... Go forth, Murdoch! Destroy this fool! Please, I beg of you. I love how I just made, I just created the correlation that this is freaking Murdoch from FP6. And 7. But more so 6. I mean, he, he, he looks a bit like Murdoch. Like full gen, like if he had his helmet on and everything, like full general armor. It does look like him. I can make it work, okay? That's all that matters. I think I get into a tie with Blue Eyes by Dragon if I keep you attacking her. I'm still on the defensive. But thankfully. Oh, Mirror Wall is back to working, so. Okay, cool, I was right. Unfortunately, in a bit of a corner. I had to shuffle things around a little bit because my frame rate was dying, but uh, regardless. Are you trying to use Murdoch's attack against him? That isn't going to work. Attack that fire's back goldfish. Ah. Uh, why did I do that? Out of all the bizarre ass references I've made. Reference goldfish commercial. Um Fuck it! Karibo! You'll work! I have faith. I should move Murdoch. Hey, Lord of D is gone. I'm pretty convinced I'm safe for now. Sky Dragon. I think this is a decent card. Well, all of these cards he has are mostly dragons, and they're pretty good. If you have Dragon Capture Jar, or that's a good card to have for this fight because it permanently spell binds all dragons when it's activated. Problem is, if he has Lord of D on the field, it's completely worthless. 
or Magic Jammer. I guess that's why he has Magic Jammer in case of Dragon Capture Jar. So yeah, he's got his good strategy set up. And I've just realized that I must now destroy that Blue Eyes White Dragon now before he puts it in defense mode and I can't do shit about it. Eh, uh, so much for that. I'm gonna assume that's a beast warrior. Um... Sure! Rogue Doll! Go! You work! That's funny because I believe he has Rogue Doll in his deck. Where he... Where he did in the anime at any rate. I remember being a kid and one of the Christmas presents I got was a DVD of basically teaching you how to actually play the card game. You know, back when, back in its earlier stages, before 5Ds and all that shit. And it came with a copy of uh, Yugi's deck, which I had already had, and a copy of uh, Kaiba's deck. I think I've lost most of the cards that were in those decks. Because I'm a kid. And that's the sort of thing that happens when you're a kid. Our grass hurt. Fuck! I know what that card does. If it's destroyed, it takes a thousand life points from you, if you have a thousand to spare. And then powers up all of his monsters by a thousand. Attack and defense. That's not good. Well, it technically is because now he's out a thousand more life points. And I technically do have Mirror Wall still, so... Uh, six and one half dozen of another. But... So he only has two monsters. So this is a... This one and this one. So this is a spell or trap card. I don't know which. He's only down 800, so this duel might be over now. I love how I haven't had to rely on Musician King. Oh fuck, Destiny Draw, no! So now I need to explain the Destiny Draw. Trap activated again. I think Karibo will still die. Barely. Uh, Late it in a minute. I forget what its effect is. Or I know what its effect is and what its animation is, I guess. Oh, hey, that's one of the uh, animations in the. And the like opening cutscene demo thing. <laughs> so what's the destiny draw? As my capture starts fucking up again. Only with this game, I know this. Well, first off, here's Cage and Engine. When it never damages inflicts uh, life points in battle, damage amount is reduced to zero. When the card is flipped face up, adds one more Cage and Engine face up in your own summoning area. And it can move immediately. So even if I destroy it, it won't do anything. The Destiny Draw only applies once per duel. And only if your deck leader is of a high enough rank. I believe you need to be Captain Rank. So that's the third rank in the game. When you're really low on life points, like say under a thousand, and everything is bearing down, basically you're up against the wall, and you have less than five cards in your hand, you get a destiny draw. It ha only happens once per battle, you need at least five cards in your deck, I think, or just less than five cards in your hand. And you'll get a really, really good card. One that naturally you can't have in your deck without cheat codes. 
A card like, say, Raigeki. That's a good one. That card is added to your deck for the rest of the duel. It doesn't go back, back to your, like, case of cards. Or you only keep it for this duel. And it replaces one of the cards you had in your deck. Alright, so let's destroy this thing broke, though. And get spellbound again. Broke doll has been doing a lot of good. Even though it has been spellbound just as much as it's been destroying things. Uh, what trap is this? It's not a trap. Rodok's not taking care of that. I'm not winning this for direct attack, but I might win for this. Uh, now though. Oh fuck! Even with Mirror Wall's effect, Hourglass Courage's power is just too good. So that literally means that Rabbit Horseman had 4,000 attack power right now. That's not good. Holy shit. Well, it wasn't that much damage done. That's a spell card, so I don't really care. You're gonna try this, huh? Why not? Swords- Oh, fuck me! Sword stock is really good, too! Sword Stalker powers, its up, powers itself up by 100 points for every monster in your graveyard when it is flipped face up. So it pretty much knows the effects of Mirror Wall. Well played, Kaiba. You just murdered Murdoch. That was pretty clever. I don't think you can actually get this card from the slot machine. I think you have to use a password to get it. Where's Musician King? Oh, I don't have Musician King. Well... Yeah, so is that... Huh. So that level's a fuck never before seen. Immortal man. Oh well, I think I... I might win this now. Nope. That's a smart move. Fuck. I'm not turning this into a stall fest. Let's play you, Water Magician. Aqua card, even though you have magician in your title. I know what that card is. It's a spell card, but I don't know which one it is. Book of Secret Arts. That's not gonna help. I, oh yeah, Shadow, shadow Spectre is going to Well, in for a penny, in for a pound. What was it? White Hole. Permanent trap that triggers when Dark Hole is activated. It protects all your cards on the field from destruction. This is a spellcaster, fuck me. This 
probably something nasty and I don't want to deal with it. Oh wow, he still attacked, but I still... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Die. Again, barely. All these cards that don't help me! Although I don't want to... I doubt this is Saji the Dark Clown. Because if it was, why wouldn't he have just... flipped his face up and attacked him? Let's try... No, I want to keep that one, though. Magic neutralizing force field is not gonna help. Because I kinda want to keep the effects of mirror wall intact. Great, after all that, I'm back on the ropes again! The fuck did this happen? Please destroy this card, whatever it is. Judge man! Uh, that's not gonna be enough to end the fight, but almost we're getting there. Oh no, I can't. It's like he moved that what? He moved the what's its face? Kajin, whatever. He moved that in like an area where I could summon a card or that has a terrain boost and destroy it, but it wouldn't deal any life point damage. So I'm going to need to think of another way to win this fight. I'll just, I'll just keep you there. Oh, son of a bitch. Look, at, look at all these really good cards just coming out of nowhere. Shadow Stalker will kill Shadow Spectre probably. I don't have any faith it can survive. Our, Let's try this. Oh, damn! Uh, it's a tie. Damn it. Uh, I almost had him. But then I didn't. Well. Oh right, you don't have a movement boost. And you don't do you won't inflict any life point damage. This is starting to annoy me a little bit. Just a little bit, mind you. I love how much he does not care about this thing. Uh, to be fair, when you when you can just throw something out there to see what it is and it doesn't cost you any life points, why not do it?
so this is pretty much gone exactly as how I thought it would go down. Uh, I'm struggling to do anything, really. Which is lovely, because this is exactly how I envisioned this fight going. Okay, I know this will give me Punished Eagle. The only issue is... I still can't destroy it. It's too strong. He's not moving it, so... Fuck. You're not gonna be of any help. Let's try this. I'm slowly running out of cards. Maybe if I move, start moving out of the way, maybe he won't. Just, maybe he'll start moving out of the horse. I love how Wall Shadow is technically considered to be a warrior. That never made sense to me. Why is he moving away now? Amiba. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a hit here because I just don't I know better than the trust goddess of women to kill anything. I, it's not gonna happen. I know it. Especially if all he, do, all he does is just sit, just just sitting around doing nothing, and I can't counter because I don't have anything that can counter him with. Well, I have me now, but I can't summon that because I've already reached my monster limit. So now I gotta get rid of freaking Shadow Spectre. Fuck another one. That one's more powered up because more monsters were sent to the graveyard. Alright, now let's try this again. This gambit will work, but only if he attacks this card. He has to do that. Before this is Saji. Yes! I win! Finally! Power of rock and roll, man! 15th century England will never triumph over rock and roll. I don't care what you throw at it.
Oh! That's right, I didn't trigger the attack, so I don't get the... Yeah. I don't really care. Spell behind me, I don't give a shit. It's over, man. You're done. Generic victory theme, why? Wow! My main deckmaster still has... Okay. So, I think you need to land three, um... Is this Le Legin on this? I don't know what it is you need to land three of. I think it might be Kaiser Dragon, but if you get three of those, you'll get Blue Eyes White Dragon. I don't know. There's Magic Jammer. I got Magic Jammer and I got White Hole. Those aren't bad. Magic Jammer's really good. Uh, and, well, White Hole is... I don't think there's anyone else that uses Dark Hole, though. I think Bones was the only one that did. Well done, Duelist. I may have lost, but my heart sings with the joy of having faced you in battle. Is that really it, though? So as a duel to be remembered, I take great pride in the fact that I fall by your hand. Hey, if you believe that, I'll sell you some swamp land in the outer reaches of the we realm. A duel to be remembered indeed, at least that part of it is true. For thanks to you, I've completed the ritual for the great summoning of the roses. Listen and learn the truth as to why I've let you survive to this day. The rose duel is an integral part to the great summoning. For only by unleashing absolute power from a duel can the great summoning succeed. There's only one reason why I came to England and sided with the Yorkists. I needed you! I knew that once the Lancastrians were cornered, they would turn to the High Druid and summon the only one who could wield power that is equal to mine. The ritual for the great summoning is nothing less than a high-powered duel with the Rose Duelist. And the key to the ritual is having all the Rose cards here at this hallowed site. In short, your victory is but a hollow one, child! Power is come, or meh. The time has come to savor that which has eluded my clan for centuries. The coming of the card guardian, I will seal a pact that will ensure my rule as well as those who descend me throughout the future. What the fuck have I just done? The fuck is this, Autobot? Mana Widan Fab Liar. I probably butchered that several different times. Yes, he's here! The Guardian walks this world once again. Welcome, O oh Great One. To celebrate your arrival, I offer you a sacrifice. What the fuck? I offer you the Rose Duelist. Oh, thanks! It seems there's a misunderstanding here. Well, it matters not. The Rose Duel is definitely a fine offering that only a fool would choose to pass up. Aw, oh, fuck me. So now, you get to fight the real final boss of this game. Mono Wadon Fablayer. You can also hit L1 or R1 to switch between him and dueling with Seto again if you want to. Before you do, if you have access to the cheat codes that are in this game, which I can't access because I don't have the right controller plugged in. That sucks. Um, I highly recommend that you... Give me a second. I highly recommend you enter in the password that gives you the card Goblin Fan. It will help you so much in this next duel. Which will also be the last duel. I'm Billy12510 and I will see you all then. Goodbye everybody.